So this video is going to show you how to join your exterior walls up to a roof in Floor Planner. So the problem, as you see right here, we already drew our roof based on a previous video, and now we want to fill in this hole. Ideally, you would have drawn these walls with their correct angle before you drew the interior walls, but if you have not done that, which is what we have in this case, this just shows you a sort of workaround to that. The first thing you're going to do is just get these roofs out of the way. Um, I like to just literally move them. We can always move them back in the end. So now what we need to do is I'm actually going to create an, a separate wall that I'm going to angle so that I can then use that for measurements. So um, thickness doesn't really matter. I'm going to make it six since my exterior walls were already six. And I would suggest trying to not have it snap. As you can see, you can even hit the S button so that it doesn't snap here. Oh, that's okay. I accidentally let go. So I'm going to just zoom in and redrag this. Oh, and I was actually dragging it to the porch walls, but I instead want to make sure I get just the exterior house walls. Okay, so now you can see we have one wall. It's a continuous wall. Um, it is, oh, it should have been nine feet like the rest of the walls are. So I'm going to say it's a nine foot wall. Make sure you've done that. And now what we need to do is split it right where the peak of the roof will be. So the highest point of the roof. So I'm going to click approximately here near the middle, and then I'm going to hit the split. And what that does is it now splits it into two. It's Pretty difficult to get it exactly right. So what I'm going to do instead is when you drag this button, it will bring up dimensions and you can just drag it along until you get there. Something that's exactly in the middle. So now if you look, I can click on this wall and this wall and they have the same dimensions. So that's it. So far, all we've done is have two walls. Um, and they're all at the same height. They're not raised up. So now what I'm going to do is click this middle point. And the way you can angle a wall is you click the end point and then you tell it the height of the wall on wall one side and the height of the wall on wall two side. Um, so I'm going to say that this roof should be 16 feet tall, which is what my actual roof that I just moved out of the way was. And I'm going to make the height of wall two also 16 feet so that they're both, both walls at this point are at 16 feet and both walls at this point and this point are the original height, which as you can see is nine feet. So now if I go to my 3D view, you'll see I now have this new wall out here. And you may want to move your walls back, or sorry, your roof back, just so that you can make sure that looks like it's the right slope. Um, make sure you get your roof in the middle so that it's... And... It looks maybe like it's a little bit off. Although I'm going to be honest with you right now, I think it will be easier to slightly change your roof at this point than to try to mess with your walls. So let's just go back at the end and edit that roof. Now, what are we going to do with this wall? The point is now you need this wall to actually have a split at the same location as this. So I'm going to click this wall and split it. Um, and I'm actually going to... You know what? Let me show you a better way to do that. So I just hit undo. So I still have a singular wall here. Instead, right here, I'm going to actually hit this button. And this brings a wall out of that point. And now by default, I'm going to have this wall split into two, exactly at the place this is split. And I'm going to do the same thing here. At this split, I want to bring a wall out and this one. And all that is doing is creating junction points at the same location across both walls. So the reason for that is so that this wall, you can guess now, on side one and three, we're going to make this 16 feet. You can ignore two because that would just slope this little wall, and we don't really care what that's going to be because we're actually going to go in and delete that in the end. It's just like a helper wall right now. And now what we need to do is use the point here, get the height that it is. You can even copy this, so 15, 2, and 3 quarters and put that same height at this point. 
And you can see all we need is height for wall one and three. And same thing here, it should be the same. It's, so we must have gotten it quite not centered. But I'm not gonna worry about that. I don't, I think for what we're doing here, oh, and now it's wall two and four, that's interesting. So I'm gonna paste two and four. It wouldn't hurt if you made all four the same number, but it's just more cutting and pasting you don't need to do. All right, so now let's look at our 3D view. I obviously missed getting the height on this point coming over. So let me fix that. You can see there's a mess up there. So let me go back. Yep. So let me copy this back down to wall two. And now you can see our walls are shaped exactly the same. The only difference being now that um, we used this outside wall that you just drew, we used as a helper wall to know where the junction points need to be on this inside wall. So now all I'm gonna do is literally go through and delete all these walls. You can hit the shift button and select. And that only got us the little wall, so maybe I can hit shift here and select only those little walls. Except it looks like I also selected that wall, which we don't want. You know what, I'm just gonna select them individually. Okay. And now our house has that nice angled roof that should, or sorry, angled wall that should meet, meet up with our now angled gable roof. And I'm just eyeballing these back into the center. It's not ideal. You could go through and make sure you're snapping. Maybe by zooming in a little better. There, that looked like it snapped. And there you have it. You may want to play with the slope a little bit. I think that's probably just because this roof has an overhang and we assume the same slope across the whole thing. So the distance from here to here is a little shorter than the distance on the roof. Uh, so you could just bring this roof back. And if you put this point at nine feet, but it's always nice to have some overhang. So I'm gonna leave you to play with getting those numbers just right. But that's how you do that, um, joining the walls to the roof. That's it for now.